yo and what is up gang thank you for checking out sledgehammer tv today for a very special video we are going to do a reaction to the first ever trailer dropped for masters of the universe revelation the reboot of the he-man series i am a huge he-Man fan, it came out when I was about three years old. I fell in love with it immediately. It probably is, was sort of my gateway into professional wrestling with all the big, super strong, comic-y, cartoon characters, this over-the-top world that just was kind of space war slash Lord of the Rings and any kind of genre you could think of melded into one show, which I absolutely loved. Kevin Smith is behind this so i'm very much looking forward to seeing what we are going to get come july when this show hits netflix i'm definitely going to be watching i hope that they don't screw this up let's get right on to it hopefully there's nothing that will get us any kind of copyright situation here but we'll work around it if we have to let's get to it the trailer debut of masters of the universe revelation Time after time, you try to take this castle, but you will never succeed, yes, Skeletor. Wait, go, wait. Call your champion. I know that voice. I don't like the song they're using. Hopefully we don't get struck for this. Man at arms in trap jaw. The sorceress, unmistakable Tila. And evil win after 40 years. Oh my god. Beast man, merman. There's so many things being thrown at me right now. Have the power! Yeah. He looks great. The animation. Battle Cat. Beast Man. I love this. I'm getting goosebumps and the hair is standing on the back of my neck with every scene. Triclops, Orko, look at the power in Orko. That Masters of the universe, wow man. Holy shit, holy shit. Boy, am I ready for that. Did, let's take a quick look back at some of this stuff. If we could just Look at the art style here. It's going to be blurry and stupid. Oh, here we go. Look at this man at arms and trap jaw. Every single thing that I have looked at pretty much that was thrown at us in such rapid succession, I used to actually own a physical copy of. I had every single thing that ever came out He-Man. I had Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain, every single character you could think of, all of their accessories, play sets, Battle Cat, Panthor and everything in between. I was wickedly obsessed with this show. Looking at the animation style, it just looks absolutely beautiful. I have heard a lot of rumors that I'm not too thrilled about, but we're going to have to wait and see if those come to fruition. Hopefully there, this trailer is not just what we're going to see in like the first episode, and then it's going to become some kind of woke version of He-Man. This is some of the stuff that I've been hearing down the pipe. I certainly hope that that's not the case. We have seen some other contradicting artwork that may prove that that might be the case, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. This trailer, who is this guy? I remember there being an African-American character in He-Man. He was pretty much the equivalent of He-Man, only African-American. I don't remember his name. I don't remember his name, and we may have just paused a frame on something that I actually didn't own, that I don't really remember if I had or not. This was interesting. The soldiers of Man-at-Arms, this is obviously the guard for the, the Eternian guard that protects the Sorceress and Castle Grayskull. This is just, this is unbelievable. The power! The power! Just look at the artwork and the detail. I can't speak enough about how great this looks. I'm a little concerned here. Let's take a little bit of a look here. Prince Adam looks kind of twerpy. Now, I know, you know, Prince Adam's not supposed to look like He-Man, but, you know, back in the day, he was pretty much just He-Man. 
but dressed a little differently. It looks like they scaled back on the muscles and the physical stature and made Prince Adam look a little bit more boy-like, maybe a little bit younger. Maybe he is, uh, I don't know, he, he looks kind of like a teenager here, and I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But it's, it's not enough to really shake me away from this series. This is the turn, the transition, obviously, from Prince Adam to He-Man. The armor that they're using here is pretty interesting. Looks and reminds me a little bit of the battle armor He-Man that he used to come with and then you used to hit it in the chest and then it would get like the battle damage in there instead. Uh, the H prevalent in the logo there. I'm not going to nitpick too much. I'm more worried about the story aspect of this thing. I don't want it to go off the rails because just from what we're looking at, here's the man of the hour right here. Just from what we're looking at here, I want this to be good. I want this to be really good. And I, I'm really pissed off at Netflix right now. And this is another way for them to get back in my good graces if it all goes smoothly. I'm pissed off because they canceled the Dark Crystal series after one series, after uh, one season rather. They canceled Jupiter's Legacy after one season. I don't like getting hooked into things only for them to not be followed up on. I would hate for this to be so terrible and to be received so negatively that they take it away after one season. Just looking at it, I absolutely want this to be good. Look at this. Look at this. This is quintessential He-Man right here. Let me move out of the way this way so you can get a better look. Look at this battle cat. They're jumping right at me. Oh my god. Oh, He-Man. Oh. <laughs> This is fucking great. This is this looks great. And I'm it makes me even more worried that they're gonna go off kilter. Some kind of cool scepter here outside the gates of Castle Grayskull. We if we go through this frame by frame, we could be here all night long. We're definitely not gonna do that. I'm not going to replay any of the footage due to that bonnie tyler song is it bonnie tyler i don't know i might be wrong i need a hero you couldn't have just used a generic he-man song you gotta put some kind of a licensing song on there that's gonna ruin it for us reactioners <laughs> hopefully it doesn't affect the video and you can see this in its full capacity triclops one of my favorite toys simply because you could just change his eye each eye represented a different emotion i thought it was the coolest thing most of He-Man's toys had some kind of very simple gimmick that made each one unique and different from the rest. Of course, we can't really close out without talking about the man himself. My favorite character, as most people, there he is, trying to find a good scene, Skeletor. Skeletor being voiced by the unmistakable voice of Mark Hamill. If you were confused when I said I know that voice and you were like, wait, I do know that voice. I've heard it somewhere before. It's because it's the voice of Mark Hamill, the voice of the Joker, many other animated voices as well. Luke Skywalker, I shouldn't even have to tell you, but this is good stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing the show. Hopefully it all pans out the way I hope and we'll be watching and maybe even reviewing weekly let me know what you guys would think of that down in the comment section below thank you for joining me my name is nick nightmare this is sledgehammer tv we're taking a look at the reaction at the at the trailer dropping for the new he-man show hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did smash that thumbs up it really helps out the channel subscribe for more content especially if you're a big time wrestling fan and i'll see you next time on your new favorite youtube channel sledgehammer tv have a good night everybody